What's going on YouTube? Captain A. Denko here. We're in Newport Beach. We're back on the docks. We're checking out a 2023 Cruisers Yachts 42 Cantius. This thing is super clean. I want to show you guys uh, my top four favorite features about the Cantius line, specifically the 42. Let's jump on board. Three cruisers yachts 42 cantius now that first feature uh, first of four that I want to point out a couple of my four favorite things about the cantius line specifically the 42 it's gonna be this generous swim platform the swim platform has a integrated boarding steps so when this platform submerged using the hydraulic system equipped on the boat uh, those steps deploy making it easy to jump back into the cockpit area. The platform also has a swim ladder that can be, be uh, easily, easily put in the water and retracted. You've got a couple of storage areas, including a outdoor grill. First storage area, uh, plenty of space. It has that swim platform controls here that middle compartment is going to be that Kenyan grill whether it's hot dogs, steaks, bratwurst, hamburgers beyond meat patties we're not judging here uh, that thing's ready to go around the starboard side again more generous storage whether it's for fenders, dock lines you've got your shore power cable and a uh, deck shower after a, a quick quick dip in the water you've got uh, a nice place to wash down and then coming up into the cockpit area you've got a nice stainless steel boarding gate there you've got comfortable deck carpeting and then around the corner here it's going to be that l-shaped lounge area lots of space cruises equipped you with two wooden high gloss uh, finished finished tables easy to get in and out of you've got a 48 quart cooler down below integrated with the seating area storage under under uh, one area there again more storage under the seating over here You've got your ice maker along with another storage storage compartment to the to the aft. Up top, you got some controls, engine room lights, underwater lights, cockpit lights, spreader lights. Another nice feature about the boat, it's got the uh, single touch, the make fast sun awning. One touch, you don't have to wait around and hold the button and that shade deploys. Same thing when bringing it, bringing it back in. One touch. And that awning's going back home. No sitting around and waiting for uh, that awning to deploy. The second feature of four that I wanted to point out on the Canius line, specifically the 42, is uh, uh, sliding doors. When you're inside the salon area, having the doors completely slid over really opens up the, the back of the boat, creating an inside-outside feeling. Whether your guests are sitting in the salon area, at the dinette, or back in the cockpit, everyone feels like they're in uh, uh, one group completely together.
a little bit more about the salon. You might notice the Lockford Fosgate head unit with the Dometic uh, air conditioning controls, cooling and heating on this boat. Round over by the galley, you got your flat screen TV up top, microwave convection oven down below, as well as a refrigeration unit and storage on the side there. You've got a stainless sink. It's nicely covered, as well as an adjustable faucet. And then to the side here, you've got a two burner Kenyan stove. Coming back up to the companion seating in the helm, you guys will notice awesome views. You got a boat going by, tons of visibility. Cruisers really had the users in mind when they when they designed the, the windows of the boat, giving the captain plenty of area to see out of. Allows for awesome natural lighting. And you have adjustable windows, port and starboard. A generous companion seating here on the port side. And then around the corner, come back to the helm. You got seating for at least two. A bolster seat, you want to sit up a little higher, as well as footrest down below. You got your Garmin screens, Garmin VHF, Volvo IPS Gen 2 throttle controls, including dynamic positioning, joystick controls, docking mode, and high speed mode. You also have uh, power trim via the Volvo system as well as Bennett, uh, Bennett trim tabs. Again, two multifunction Garmin displays. Another feature that I really like about the boat is going to be the electronic sunroof. Giving you that much more, more light in here. Nice cool breeze. That deploys quickly and quietly. Perfect for uh, summertime cruising. Now coming back down, this is going to be my third favorite uh, uh, thing about the boat. Number three, it's going to be just the size of both of the staterooms as well as the heads, especially the day head. For a 42, 42 foot boat, there's quite a bit of room in here. You got closets on both sides. Generous bed and porthole windows on both sides too. Again, you've got accordion style cell shades with another hatch up top uh, just below the bow lounge here. You've got those closets that I mentioned, wood finish and lighted on both sides. Plenty of plenty of storage space in here. You can see how that goes back over there. Close this up. You got one on port and another on starboard. In the corner, you've got a flat screen TV, air conditioning controls, and your light switches. The forward stateroom has a dedicated dedicated head, as well as a. Uh, separate separate shower area. So you don't have a wet head here. Very clean vanity. Hello. Vanity and bowl sink. Stainless steel adjustable faucet. You can push that out of the way if you need a little extra space. And then around the corner, come back, check out that that day head. I mean, just look at the size and the depth of this of this unit here. 
Again, you've got a ball sink, large vanity, uh, dedicated space for the shower, as well as a nice quiet head. So uh, there's actually a lot of people that consider the forward state room the master, uh, and then there's also a number of people that consider the master state room the master. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think, which room you would choose. But we'll show you this down here. Nice settee on the starboard side of the boat, as well as a large, a large bed. You notice excellent lighting. You've got windows on both sides. Those can be open for a little bit more ventilation. Uh, on the port there and the starboard. Make it really nice. Great visibility. See what's going on out there while you're in here. You got another flat screen TV. Cruise did a really good job with the design and the layout using the space that they had on the 42. And then the fourth favorite feature of mine that I like on this boat, we're gonna go up to the bow lounge. I'll take the uh, gangway here on the port side. Cruisers has this lined with, with uh, uh, courtesy lights. So at nighttime, you can see where you're stepping. You've got about a 14 inch gangway with uh, rails on both sides, making a nice safe trip up to the bow. This 42 is equipped with a Garmin radar. You've got your Volvo uh, dynamic positioning system. Radio antennas, horn, ready to go. And up front, the fourth and last favorite item for me on the 42 is going to be this bow lounge. Completely adjustable backrest, so whether you want it to be up more in a forward facing position or lounging back down, you can. The table here does fold back down, creating uh, a little bit more space for you to lay out. But again, really, really nicely designed with the uh, bolster and cup holders around the sides here. And of course, searchlight, anchor locker up front with windless controls. And that's just going to about do it for the 42 Cantius. This boat is available out of Newport Beach right now. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section. I'll have more information about the uh, Volvo IPS system in another video, so make sure you go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel uh, uh, just down below. And uh, we'll see you out on the water uh, boating soon. Thanks for stopping by.